Why would you want to use two audio interfaces when recording or streaming the output of your DAW's ASIO audio stream into OBS or Streamlabs? The main reason is when you want to use the inputs of your audio interface run through your DAW and use plugins in real time. By using two audio interfaces, you can use your DAW unencumbered from weird routing matrixes or incurring latency from virtual cables. If you don't need to use the inputs of your interface, I recommend the FL Studio driver method or the voice meter banana method. Both of those videos are in the description below. If you know nothing about screen recording with OBS, first watch the ultimate tutorial listed in the description to get up to speed. All of this also applies to Streamlabs OBS. Here's our two audio interfaces. Both of them are connected to the computer. We'll use the Complete Audio 6 as the interface for Pro Tools or whatever DAW you happen to be using, and the Zoom H6 in this case as the input source for OBS. Run cables from the main outputs of the audio interface you are using for your DAW into a pair of inputs on the secondary audio interface. And that's basically it. Now we'll check in Pro Tools and make sure the Complete Audio 6 is our playback engine. And it is. And if I play back the track in Pro Tools, you can see we are getting the output of the K6 into the H6. Then in OBS or Streamlabs, create an audio input source. Choose the correct entry for your secondary audio interface. In our case, it's the Zoom H6. Now when I play back in Pro Tools, you can see we are getting input into OBS. The same would be true, for example, if you were plugging a guitar into the Complete Audio 6 and using an amp sim, or a mic into the K6 and using a bunch of plugins on your voice. You can now use your DAW in a normal way and record or stream everything with OBS that is going on inside Pro Tools or any other DAW. You can see we also have another audio stream that is for computer sounds. It's set to my Realtek integrated sound card so I can capture any sound playing through Windows like YouTube or Groove. You can disable this if you want. If you are not seeing your secondary audio interface in OBS, make sure it's enabled. Right click the speaker icon, click sounds, choose the recording tab and find your interface and make sure the correct inputs are enabled. You can also go to advanced and change settings if needed. Also, keep in mind what tracks you are recording or streaming your DAW audio to in OBS. This is most important when recording if you want to edit the audio later. But if you don't want to edit later or you are streaming, then all you really need is one. You can also choose if you want to monitor the sound source in here as well. You don't usually need to since you'll probably be using headphones, but here is where you can do that if you want. And that's all there is to it. This method is simple and straightforward and frees you from having to think about what you can or can't do in your DAW when streaming. You can literally use your DAW in a normal manner. Record, start, stop, mute, solo, delete tracks, use effects, use virtual instruments. Do it all without messing up the audio stream that's going into OBS. And lastly, for those who don't have two audio interfaces but still want to try this method, you can use a cable like this. Plug into the main outputs of the interface you are using for your DAW, and then into the line input of your computer. In OBS, create a new audio source and choose the correct line in. Now, when I play back in Pro Tools, the sound goes through the Complete Audio 6 and into the computer. Just keep in mind, sometimes the integrated sound card of your computer is not of the highest quality, so check the audio quality with a quick recording before you start streaming. Both of these methods work with OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS, and you could download both of those for free in the description below. Also in the description are links to free video editors you can use to edit the content you record with OBS.